Bush, enjoy it next Friday. I guess well, you'll take it on his maiden voyage, so we wish you every success. It's, I guess it's the much. first presidential limousine they tell me that's ever been built from the ground up, so it should be quite good. So it was designed yeah, particularly for that purpose. Yes, guess we could surely make You got two jump seats pulling up. Three. Three. Yes, three. Oh, look at this. Yes, it's even thicker than that. Oh, look at this. You have a little bit of room in there. John, John is the fellow yes, who uh, put together the arm of it, sir. You know the thing that just astounds me in that kind of like riding in a car with people's attention all the time? You put it in, you close the door, you look at the door closed. It looks just like a normal automobile. Normal Inside. Glass, yeah. Until you open the door and find out that the windows are three inches thick. Oh, yes, sir. It doesn't give that appearance on the outside, either. You never know. No. Look at this. I think it's a nice one. Well, I'm thinking it's one overnight. Extremely well on the road. George, <laughs> George, <laughs> sir, it's got those dark day parade lights also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? It's that? so the people can see you. Like this goes on, and, and we, uh, you know, they can see you in there waving it over. Oh, I should put that <laughs> did you have those in the other one? Yes, sir. Yes, he did. Yes. 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 Yes.
takes care of all the Senate Republicans. Oh, Thanks for having us to answer. Thank you, sir. Mike Johnson, Congressman Michael. Thank you, Mr. Hi. President. Thank you, Bill Pitts, Congressman Hello, Mr. Michael. President. Hello there. Would I be wrong if I said Peoria for closing? No, that's OK. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I think. Okay. Mr. President, have we got a group shot maybe with them? Yeah. Good. Come back. Some of you on one side and some of you on the other. <laughs> See, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. One more. Thank you. Why don't we try one quick House one and one quick Senate if we could? Just we'll do one House one and one Senate if we could. As far as all right. Why don't we get the Senate? Right. There's Daniel. All right. There are more Senate. All right. Go ahead. See, we've never seen Alan as quite the director that he is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Well, all right. People we undoubtedly call them the people that are in this room today. They are the finest on Capitol Hill, besides becoming good friends. And they have served not only their bosses, but you very well. Well, thank you all. Mr. President, could I impose upon you to sign this for my wife? She met you for the first time at the Christmas ball at the White House. Great. Her name is Tricia, T R I C I A. What's your Mike and Tricia? Just a Tricia's mom. Just a Tricia. She deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President, we understand that he gets not to, he doesn't have to walk the dog for <laughs> two weeks after getting this thing autographed. So that's what it's all about. speech last night was terrific. If you're a lousy writer, that was fantastic. No, thank you very much. It was. I meant you were just in the mechanics of writing. <laughs> but I, Can I impose upon you to get yeah. Could I use that as a, maybe as a backdrop? Sure. Right. I'll do it so we don't know what to do. Dan, you got to figure it out. It was Del Matt at the top of the room. That's right. No, 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 no. We didn't learn anything. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> to be left-handed and was trained and brought up right-handed. <laughs> One of the characteristics is lousy writing. <laughs> and uh, I have always believed that about me because most things that you just do for the first time, like shoot a gun or something, I found out I do it all left-handed. Really? Yeah. Sure. I was really right. 
You've done very well in spite of it. Somehow you overcame it. Thank you. Do we have some votes? What's going on? Or when the house is in the house. The bigger win than you, Ken, was over in the house. So remember the prince of the king. They've been with me a long time. Congressman Duncan Hunter. Hey, President. Good to see you. Good to see you. Got the, this is Sam Hunter. You've met him one time. Yes, Sam. Hi. How are you? Sam's quite a kid. My wife, Lynn, who's met you a few times. And Dunk, he drew a cowboy for Dunk once a couple years ago. Yep. And at the cabinet room. Oh, so. <laughs> so, uh, come over here and okay. 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 get in the middle of your picture. Okay. okay. All right. And I, yeah. Where do you want Sam at here, baby? Sam, right in front of us here. How's that? Yeah, kids. Is that good? <laughs> hey, baby. Great. Okay. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. I know all the support you've been, particularly on two things of great interest to me, the SDI. Thank well, you. let me tell you, we'll, we'll keep the faith, Mr. President. We'll, uh, right. we'll work, uh, continue to work hard, and uh, and listen. As, as, since everybody else has, uh, has uh, talked and lobbied, etc., I just hope you don't spend the next uh, the next year looking at TV as the. Uh, Democrats tear us up in the Alley North trial. Uh, I'm one of the advocates for, for uh, yeah. ending that yeah. thing by part of Alley I'm not, I'm not going to retire. I'm just going to change yeah. the occupations. <laughs> <laughs> Could I get you to, uh, to sign one book for our office manager's uh, niece who is named Frances, F-R-A-N-C-E-S, and she Brought a, bought a Winston Churchill book at a used bookstore. What's her head? Ask yeah. if you could put to Frances uh, Ronald Reagan. She said she wants her to read it when she's old enough to know. She said you reminded her of Churchill, so. To Francis, just Francis. Just to Francis. Gosh, this is the only time he, he's speechless. <laughs> this yeah, is great. hey. Well, yeah. <laughs> These kids talked all the way down here, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, you heard it when you sign a book, you should put the date down. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, Doc, you have anything you want to tell the president? Sure. You're not going to see him for a I while. I think it was great when he went in, when you went in. And it's been fun, you know, having him for yeah. the president. Yeah, we came in house. together. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It won't be the same. And, uh, Could you tell me that joke? <laughs> I haven't got it. What joke? Um, the joke that you told me when I when I picked your hand to that one. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't recall that. Well, no, he told you told the story. I had Shotgun Tom Kelly, who was a disc jockey. <laughs> Who helped you? Who warmed the crowd up for you in '84 when you ended your campaign? You told a story about announcing the game with on on the tape. It was a delayed oh. thing, and the and the tape broke, and you had to improvise. Yeah. It wasn't tape. It was an island operator, and then at the ballpark there was a telegraph operator. Mine heard through earphones the dot and dash, and then he typed out what was going on in the field and slipped it under the window to me, and I broadcast. And we were keeping because we were in competition with a half a dozen others who were broadcasting directly in the field. And uh, we were keeping within at least a half a pitch of, of being up with the, the timing. And this day I saw him start to type. So I had Dizzy Dean, it was the Cardinals and the Cubs out on the mound. I had Dizzy come out of the wind up, comes the pitch and he was shaking his head no one the thing came to me and said, the wire's gone dead. <laughs> and I had Billy Jurgis up at the plate. So Billy, um, the Listen. Listen. He wants to hear the one about the horse. He doesn't care about. It. Well, Sam, you let him tell this to the end of this story, and then we'll. Well, this was that I went. I'll on. tell you the one about the horse. This went on to where it made Ripley believe it or not. Not that what I was doing, but I had jerked aside the ball on the way to the place, so I had fouled it off. And then I thought, golly, I can't tell the people here in the ninth inning that we can't. We, you know, the wire's going dead, and uh, so I had jerked foul another one. And then I had him foul one that almost was a home run. <laughs> and I had him foul off, went back to third base and described the two kids that got in a fight over the ball. And I kept starting. Finally, I saw him sit up and he started typing. And I, I started another ball on the way to the plate. And when I got the slip of paper, I couldn't talk for giggling. Said Jurgis popped out on the first ball. <laughs> and I 
I set a baseball record for all time of a man standing at the plate and hitting success. If I'm, That's I great. Can't remember the horse story. Well, Sam, we'll have to. Maybe Danny maybe can remember California. the horse story. <laughs> maybe yeah. out in California. Yeah. That's right. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Been good to be with you, Mr. President. And, well, uh, we'll, again, we'll keep the faith. And uh, once again, I'm, I'm one vote for pardoning Ollie North for what that's worth. <laughs> and I think the Democrats are going to tear our party up with that trial if it goes the rest of the year. It's a difficult one here. And I know it. And I know you've thought about it a lot. So I won't uh, camp on your doorstep here. Thanks. Nice to be with you. And uh, God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Be nice to see you, friend. Hey, great. Off I see you.